Hey YouTube, Frog Toad here. Well, let me close the door here and uh, I got tagged. All right, thanks Papa Les, appreciate that. And um, not quite sure the premise of the tag, but I'll just do my best. Let me move the Ruger out of the way here. And um, I think what the question was is what is your um, EDC Urban Survival knife? Okay, now Urban Survival, I'm just going to take that to mean as, as a potential backup to a firearm or as a, uh, as a primary if you don't carry a firearm with the use, with the intention to use it defensively if you uh, are forced to. So that's, that's kind of where I'm going to go. And it would probably be one of two. The first one being one you may have just seen recently. This is the uh, Spyderco Military that uh, Star Lordish so generously sent my way Christmas time. Uh, it has all the attributes necessary to use in a defensive situation. It's light, it's big, it's sharp, it's easy to open, easy to carry. You know, so that would be one of the two choices. The other would probably be the Benchmade 710 McHenry Williams. Pretty much for the same reasons. They're both, uh, you know, pretty much not designed to clean your fingernails. They have, uh, you know, secondary social uses in mind. Just two different takes on the same, uh, same idea. And I guess really the only difference between these two is, uh, which kind of style you like? Which one you like to carry? I really like them both. The, uh, the Spyderco is just a tad lighter. And the handle is just physically bigger. Um, so, you know, if you forced me to choose between these two, uh, not taking into consideration value, you know, resale, blah, 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 I'd probably go ahead and go with the spider code. The only thing I dislike about this knife, and it's a real, it's not bad, but due to the way it's built, you can see there's no spacer down inside except for that tower, which is just forms where the lanyard goes. So putting the pocket clip in the tip up position is, is pretty much impossible. And I've been thinking about it. I can't modify this knife because if I buggered it up, I would be P.O.'d. But, um, I don't know, maybe something could be done. Who knows? Maybe the, maybe the screws would actually go into the G10. I don't know, but I'm not going to do it. But that's, an old, that's the only thing. I would prefer to see this pocket clip reversed over here. And I'm probably at some point going to take that pocket clip off, leave it in the box, and just put a lanyard on it. But, uh... I'm carrying this thing on and off since I got it, and just the more I carry it, the more I like it. It just fits my hand real well, especially once that uh, that clip is gone. It's really going to fit. Where the McHenry Williams, this is a bit more of a tank. It has a little bit smaller handle overall, a little bit heavier. Uh, doesn't have the the grippiness, if you will, that the uh, the Spider Co has. So it's a beautiful knife, don't get me wrong. I just love this knife. And I do occasionally carry it. But, you know, I have to admit, if I was concerned about protecting myself, this would be the direction I would go. Alright, Les, and uh, I think it was ND Kui that started this. Great deal. I know that's who tagged Les. Outstanding. That was a lot of fun. Alright y'all, fair winds. We'll see you next time around.